Hi, I'm Dr. Alan Widener from MassageChairRelief.com and today I'm going to uh, show you how to use the Ogawa Master Drive AI Massage Chair for the first time. Very technologically advanced chair, it's got some pretty cool diagnostic features and we'll, we'll, we'll discuss that a little bit when we turn the chair on for you. It comes with a, an installation guide, comes with an owner's manual, you can read these while you're sitting on your chair for the first time. Anyway, so you sl slide into this chair like you would any other massage chair, slide your feet in, Get your arms inside the armrests and get yourself positioned in a comfortable way. I like to lift the, the pillow, the head pillow up and out of the way so I can get a full neck massage. But we'll leave it down so I don't have to, so I can keep my eye on, the, keep my eye on you. So anyways, um, you'll notice that it has some quick keys here. You can start the, the chair just by pushing the, 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 this button down and holding it for a couple of seconds. And you can adjust the depth of the rollers with this dial. There's two programs here, Relax and Stretch. But you want to go to the, you go to the, uh, to the, uh, uh, to the, the Samsung tablet that comes with the chair. Uh, and because on this, you will have, now it's an app, of course. So let's go back here. You'll see here. It's, it's just like a regular app, like on a, on a regular phone, and now it comes into the program. And now you've got all kinds of chair options. You can, do, uh, you can do these programs. You've got some other auto programs here. Oh, and it'll ask you, this is, I'm glad this showed up. It'll ask you to connect the chair with your phone so you can get the Bluetooth. You have to have Bluetooth connectivity for you to use the app. Uh, to run the chair, you have to. So uh, you confirm that it's, on this one. I don't know if it's the same on every every device, but it's MC one nine zero seven three zero 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 two one. You click confirm, and the chair is connecting. Now the now the app is connected with the chair. Now you can run the chair from here. So what I would do. <clears throat> Well, I want to just show you one thing. We'll have a separate video for this, but it has the chair doctor. That's this little sensor here. Oh, just a minute. I shouldn't have done it. I pushed chair doctor. So now we're going into the chair doctor. No, we're good. It's just reclining. Sorry, I pushed the recline button. But you, if you're doing the chair doctor, you hold this sensor in your hand with these two sensors uh, on your palm and your, this little sensor for your finger, and then you push this button down, and that will diagnose your oxygen levels, perspiration, pulse uh, levels, and it'll help integrate those findings into the overall scan of the chair. But what we're going to do today is we're just going to use the demo program, bang, and that's all you need to do. You get your arms back in there, relax in the chair, close your eyes, and, or, or open your eyes and read the owner's manual, but then just relax. Now it has an electronic leg extender, you see my legs are going out, and it's going to come back in, and when it's the right length, usually it will just sense where my legs are, and it'll stop it. There we go. And then it stops for my to, to cater to my length of, of leg, and I don't have really long legs. But it has foot rollers, it has calf airbags, arm airbags, butt airbags, the works. And it has an L track so the rollers go up and down your back. And it'll do a scan, <clears throat> and then it'll begin the program. So that is a very easy way to get going with this chair. You can turn it off in two ways. You can either go to the you can either go to the app and press the power button right here. See that? You can turn it off there, or you can just push the power button. And, and since we use the app to start the chair, let's use this button. We'll hold it down for two seconds to turn the chair off. And it'll restore the chair back to neutral positioning. And that is how you use the Ogawa Master Drive AI for the first time. But I'm going to tell you something. And once you get going uh, with, this, with this app, you're, you're, not, you're going to want to play with it for a while. I, I, I've especially seen this with the husbands. <laughs> They want to play with all the different programs and, and kind of get, the, get, get a feeling for all the technology involved with this chair. It's a pretty, pretty fun chair to play with. Uh, nice chair. Good, strong, firm massage. It's a 3D, 4D chair, so it'll dig in deeper if you need it. Uh, and it'll, it'll pull back if you need something a little bit softer. Uh, very nice chair. And the Samsung tablet comes mailed in a separate box at the time of the shipping of the chair. It, is a, it comes with a charge cord, so you've got to power it up. It's not... It's, it's, it's not uh, uh, it, it doesn't have a, you know, it doesn't have a, a, a plug-in to charge your, charge it on built into the chair. You got to plug it into the wall, and uh, and then you charge it up when it's getting low, and you're ready to go again. But every time, if you haven't used it in a while, and you get back on the app, every time you get on, it's going to ask you about that Bluetooth connectivity. So make sure you you connect that and confirm it before you start using the programs, because it won't, it just won't work. So you'll have to get it connected. Uh, to the Bluetooth. Well, I'm Dr. Alan Widener from MassageChairRelief.com. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, thumbs up, like us on our YouTube channel, and of course, help us spread the word about massage chairs by sharing this video with your friends and family on your various and sundry uh, uh, social media platforms. We do appreciate that. And I will see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.